Lisa. And I have M-E-N. There are different types with different numbers. And I've got the second kind, M-E-N-2. Here's what I know. Inside everyone's body are lots of things called glands. These glands make hormones, the chemical messengers that travel through our blood. Your glands make sure just the right messages get through to tell your cells what to do. This is the thyroid gland, which makes a hormone called thyroxine. This controls your body's metabolism and how much energy you have. They have to work hard to make sure our bones, muscles and nerves are developing in the right way. So they're always making new cells. But sometimes, these new cells gang up into lumps. With MEN2, some lumps don't do anything. But some turn bad and start all kinds of trouble. What they do depends on where they start. If you have MEN2A, they try and stop your thyroid gland doing its job properly. In MEN2B, they can cause trouble in your mouth and in your tummy too. <coughs> By messing up the messages, they can make you feel really weird in loads of different ways, like tired or sweaty. Doctors can test your hormones to see if you have too much or not enough or take special pictures called scans to look inside your body. The best way to stop the problems is with an operation, sometimes before there's any bad stuff, just in case. It might seem a bit scary at first, but the doctors are experts. They can help get everything back to normal with medicine. I inherited MEN2 from my dad, just like my curly hair. Even though I will always have MEN2, there are loads of people keeping an eye on me to make sure I stay healthy. I can still do everything I love. And if I ever feel worried, I know I will feel happier if I just talk to someone. MEN2 are two different conditions, but you can learn about MEN1 by watching Daniel's film. Mm -hmm.